Okay, para sa mga lata, so we have already applied the different functions, basic functions na ni to recall your lesson in the previous semester. So we have some function that adds no, the values in a range. The mean function displays or returns the value, the minimum value in a range. And in the max, no, let's start with the max. Let's continue. So again, we have to just type the name of a function. No, kung ano siya sa ano sa pop up nag-appear, then just click it, then enter the range. So we'll be using the same range lang. Okay, then close and enter to display the result. So what do you think is the maximum value here? We see max. Yes, it's the highest or the biggest value in a range. So that's short for maximum. Okay, so let's continue with the median. How are you going to identify the median value if you are to do it manually? Okay, how are you going to identify the median value? What's the median value anyway? Na nasa tunga. Okay, so ano ayan ang sa tunga? Diri nga values. Okay? So lang taunta kung paano niya gin-identify, no? So highlight lang ang range. We'll do later manual uh, identification of a median value. So again, same procedure. Just have to type the name of a function or just click it if it appears already in your screen upon typing the first letter and second letter. And then enter. So the median value here is 13.5. You may never see 13.5, but there is this formula for the Excel, no? As to how it will uh, identify the median value. What about the mode? Are you familiar about the term mode? When we see mode, what is that? Yes. Ang frequent no ang frequent na nga appear or frequent na nga gaya. so example may ari di nga uh, may, may ari man di nga 10 itong tabi 10 ni siya tapos may 10 pag idiri siya okay so if you are to identify or use mode okay it will return to you the most frequent value in a range that's mode the mode means no the most frequent value in a range do you follow okay so next we have average so how are you going to identify the average if you are to do the computation manually what do you usually do when you do the averaging what do you do okay you add then you Divide it into how many? It depends on the number of uh, value that you have added, something like that, no? So again, but here we just have to just type the name of a function, then highlight the cells you want to include in the computation of averaging. Then the Excel will just return to you the average value of the values in the selection. Okay? So just enter key, then you will have the average value. So class, I just would like to go back to the median value because I don't think if you are familiar with how the Excel identify no, the values. So Excel first, are you with me? Oh, identify na uh, a median value. no. So Excel first arranged all the values either in ascending or in descending order. That's also what how you are to do it. Okay, so magbabagita nga ascending alin sa pataas or naba? Magbabagita ascending pataas, kung descending panaba, no panaog. So diri kita ma start no. Anong pinaka tao pinaka naba diri nga sa amo ni nga selection ay mo ni nga nga range 9 followed by pila ka 10? Pila ka 10 girls and boys? Tatlo. Oh, pira ka 11. May 11 kita. May 12. Wala. May 13. Pila ka 13. Next, may 14. 15. Sure ka mo? Isa lang kayong 15. That's total number of items. Next, we have 16, 18, 19. 
Amoy na siya. So, anong pinaka na ba? Anong median value here is 12 kuno. Okay. Ay, sus. Sige. So, here we can see all the items or values we have included in our range, no? As we uh, use the median value or median function earlier. So, here you are going to identify the middle value. Ano din pinaka middle value? Kung duwa sila, ti duwa sila eh. Ariho 11 and 13. So, Excel will identify the middle you know, value in between the two values. So, what do you think is the value in between 11 and 13? 12. That's why the correct the answer here or the, the, the return value here or in the median uh, uh, function is 12. Gina-add ni Excel na gina divide to 2. Pero kung wala kita class, example B, wala ti 19. Are you with me? Okay. So, median. Amula niya ako, yung selection na wala ako T19. So, what do you think is the correct answer is the median value here? What do you think? Anong pinakatunga? Dira. Ay, nako. What? 11. Is it 11? Oh, amun ang pinakamiddle, right? Enter ko 11. Ina. Kung manually, mura i-perform. Kung pa-perform mo, kung nakamu sa quiz manually bala. Okay, so you must know it. You, you know, you must learn how to identify no, the procedure. As to, no? That's also how Excel identify the median value. Okay? So, amun ni siya, tapos ang satunga, amun na ang median value. Kung wala naman ni si 18, okay, kung ano rin ang satunga ang mga values ni Ra, dua ang satunga, ti identify yung 10.5 naman na siya maging median. Di ba, no? Kung dua ang median. Okay, mula na class, gusto ko ma-sure that you have understood it.